For more than three centuries, the Scottish Deerhound has been a loyal and devoted companion at home and in the field. of the Scottish Deerhound can be traced with some precision to the 16th century. Although widely used throughout the British Isles, when deer and stag were plentiful, it was in the last stronghold of the wild stag, the highlands of Scotland, that the breed came into its own. The Scottish Deerhound's swiftness, skill, and intelligence in the pursuit of game have been highly valued ever since. So much so, that at one time, no person less than an earl or a lord was permitted to own a Deerhound. Sir Walter Scott described the Scottish Deerhound as the most perfect creature of heaven. The Deerhound was among the first breeds admitted to AKC registration entering the stud book in 1886. And Queen Victoria had several deer hounds entered at the first Westminster show. You'll be seeing many Scottish deer hounds during this presentation. Some are outstanding examples of the breed. Others are less so. All will help your understanding of the deer hound. The Scottish Deerhound gives the appearance of a rough-coated Greyhound of larger size and bone. The Deerhound should never appear coarse and should be symmetrical and balanced. The Deerhound should have enough bone and substance to bring down the Highland Stag. Dogs stand from 30 to 32 inches at the withers or even taller if there is symmetry without coarseness, and weigh about 85 to 110 pounds. Bitches should stand from 28 inches upwards and weigh from 75 to 90 pounds. There is no objection to a bitch being large, unless too coarse, as even at her greatest height, she does not approach that of the dog. Regardless of the height and weight, there should be no sign of coarseness, whether a dog or bitch. These dogs, ranging from 13 months of age to 7 years of age, represent the growth and development of the breed. <laughs> 